Hello and welcome back. I'm Shelf Unit and this is my continuing let's play of Underrail. I've got a bullet missing there. Let's just quickly. Now where the hell do I put all my bullets? No. Okay, so I have been doing some busy work in between times. We're at rail crossing. Um, I have collected together the rifle and shotgun technical manuals. And I've collected some my old uh, other weaponry, and I have created a bunch of adrenalines and molotovs, etc., etc. I have collected all of the high-frequency shield emitters that I know that I have in various barrels and storages, and I have placed those in the locker in Core City. So there's three. Um, high frequency shield emitters in there. Um, I need 10. I've bought a few bits and pieces um, for uh, the shield emitters and I am... What am I doing? I'm planning on... For my mechanics I need 81. <clears throat> To, uh, no, electronics and mechanics, I think I need 81 to uh, properly start make, building the um, the uh, shield emitters myself. So first off, I'm going to see if, I think it's here that I'm supposed to give the guy, here we go, broken quads, and free drones, so we have to trade. Who is the one who needed the manual? Not this guy. Oh, you. Me? You, you owe me money. Pulls out a notebook and flips a page and starts reading. You and dude had 13 bottles of brew plus four bags of hardcore chips and paid for none of it. Your eyes veer towards a stained menu on the counter. Mushroom brew, 10 chirons, core chips, 7 chirons, hardcore chips, 10 chirons. That's 170 Charants. You two snuck out while I weren't looking. Now's the time to pay up. He closes the notebook and leans on the counter. Persuade. Mm. Well, but I did pay you, don't you remember? I placed the money on the counter and told you, yo, here are your coins. I even tipped you, man. Liar. Unless I'm going to rail, there was no money on this counter. You bastard snuck out while I was, I was, I don't know, washing the dishes or something like that. That's what happened. Turn my back for a moment and you're gone. And someone took it while you weren't looking. It's not awful somewhere else retard installed your sink like that so you can't see what's happening in this place. Look, the freaking plumbing, but but I'd have heard you if you actually called me, damn it. Maybe you didn't hear me because the tap was running. I don't know, it's not my problem. All I know is that I placed the money on the counter and you told me it was there before we left. You, you, he pauses, eyeing you suspiciously. You filthy little liar, I'm falling for that crap. He leans forward. I'm starting to get my nerves, so you'd better pay up the hell else. Ah, okay. He counts the money and looks at you after confirming the amount's correct. It's good. Now get out of my bar. You're banned and tell the dude here as well. Bastards. Yeah, well, screw you. Okay, now. Let's see if it was in here. I think it was in the other place. Miles, here we go. About old world weapons. Alright, what you got for me? Um, I got this old world handgun. Shine the Glock 17. Glock? He comments after reading his name on the side. What kind of name is Bluck? He handles the, pistol for, handles the pistol for a few moments, then continues. Feels very modern though. Like, good sights. Large magazine. Now I'll do it. 600 shots. I'll need a good fell count flame for some spare parts. 120 and uh, a rapid reload or an extended mag and you'll end up a top tier pistol. I have another weapon I wanted to show you. So machine gun, show me HK and P6. Flips the fire sector going from the symbol of the red, single red bullet to three and then finally to seven. Very well illustrated. He flips it into a safe position, crossed out white bullet. And after a thoroughly inspecting he nods and addresses you. 
500 Chirons and I'll need a good steel cap frame for some spare parts. After that, a muzzle brake and you'll end up with a mean submachine gun. Old World Sniper Rifle. Showing the Dragonov. So I need a good spearhead frame. Resolution digital, high resolution digital scope, and you'll end up with a powerful. Okay. Do you have any of those things that I need? What a high frequency shield meter. Plasma core. Mm, but nothing I'm... Okay. So, more busy work required, hey? So, I'm going to dump all of these old world weapons in here. Um, actually, gosh, the dragon off the magazine and the Glock. Now, yeah, there's a few bits and pieces. What do I need? That's Oh, um, do I have the frame by any chance? I don't think I've got the frame. Let me come here and take a note of what the uh, the bits and pieces that I'm actually going to need here are. I have my notepad and pencil. So, old world weapon. Oh, fuck's sake. This is depressing. <clears throat> I do apologize for the delay here. So let's grab you, you, you. Head back in here. Okay, <clears throat> so I need a falcon flame. Rapid reloader and an extended mag. So I need a steel cap frame. Muzzle brake. And sniper rifle. Spearhead frame. And ten. High res digital scope. Later. Okay, so I'll be needing to find those out. I'm, I'm very tempted to just try and get those done now. And, um, yeah, let's just dump. Oops. Dump you guys off. One, two, three in there. Double check that I can't get any of these things in here. Uh, 
Um, looks doubtful. Corsair Commander. Precision plus ten. Mm, yeah, precision plus ten. Hmm. Jeez, thirty-eight grand. That's that's an awful, awful lot. Three firearms though, and four melee weapons. Okay, let's let's go out here and grab firearms and melee weapons. So Jaguar Jack Rabbit. Gloves. Uh, shock steel spear. Probably be enough for now, to be honest. How uh, damaged are these things? Kitted, if I can find you. No, where are you, please? There. You are going to be in need. That. Electronic. as well I am. Yeah, okay, well let's see if we can do business here. So there's the 55 to 139. trade and trade oh. now I can pop in my wonderful new sniper rifle nope no 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 phew I want to talk to you and if you've got any 12 point any 12 you don't Still. Reasonably happy with that. I've gained a little bit of uh, a little bit of um, damage capacity with this. I believe. Okay. So now I'm going to go and head to the other places and try and find all these things. I've probably got them. In fact, I'll just double check to make sure I don't have any of these pieces in this barrel. 
and then we'll be going around all the bits and pieces. Right, so what do I got here? Mm, basic scope, isn't it digital scope? This, this is going to be the episode in which we don't really do anything, but we just ma hopefully, hopefully, properly upgrade our uh, equipment. Especially these three weapons. I would really, really like to uh, get some good weaponry. Yeah, and I'd really like to open that box. But I don't have the ability to do it at the moment. So let's travel by metro. Let's go to Foundry. Not worried about money here, I can always sell a lot of stuff. I've got my barrel in here. Before I go and look in shops. Reloaders or anything of that nature. Strength by one, that's not what I need, sadly. Firearm barrel, beautiful hammer there. But I cannot see rapid reloader. Expand mags, motion tracking lens. A shotgun frame. Nothing there. Let's head in. There has quite simply got to be something in here that I can buy. I say that without a great deal of confidence, to be honest, though. So what do we got here? Scope, scope, hammer, pistol frame, bipod, barrel retractor, that's actually quite interesting. I think that's probably what we've got. Endoscopic eyepiece. Interesting. Barrel compensator. Indicator shotgun frame, Ford grip. Huh, there's a few bits and pieces that are actually not so bad. I'm gonna buy a bunch of these though. Because I do need to keep up my various bits and pieces. Okay. I think that's pretty much all the use I'm going to get out of this place. Um, so we've done foundry, we've done rail crossing.
see what we can find in Core City. No, I didn't want to go nowhere. Oh, damn it. Core City. And then upper under rail. Well, it's difficult to determine where we're going to end up in terms of how are we going to find these things? Got junkyard. Junkyard might be an interesting proposition. Let's go in here. Yeah, there doesn't seem real, really any need for this little area here. I mean, it could have could have easily been merged into this area here. I feel. Still, let's have a look in the electronic section. Actually, let's have a look in my barrel first. A large barrel for Core City. I do like how these things are never robbed. Okay, what do we got in here? Adaptive lens, electronic repair kits, the claw, and dehumanizer. Pneumatic reloader. There's a rapid reloader. It's for crossbows, though. That is. Tornado crossbow. Order. Incendiary collector. Well, oh, that's unusual. Mushroom brew. Increases strength for that thing. Hammer. Energy pistol frame. It's a high frequency shield modulator, yeah, because I've got all the high frequency stuff here. Hopefully for hammer, czar, plasma mine case. And attack critical damage. Another harbinger. Harbinger, rather. Da da da, marauder. Bladeling eyes and various. various shield emitter bases and things which I bought for the. Uh, bought for the purposes of the. Um, shield emitters. We can get a few more of those around before I start needing to go and buy and try and buy some. Now, I noticed a question about the bracelet there for some reason, and I'm worried about asking it in case I lose the ability to buy things. I am a little surprised that I haven't got what I wanted here. Here we go. Energy weapon. Oh, blueprint, let's just auto that though. So I've got my high reg digital scope. Let's get out of here. General store might have something. Here we go. There should be some stuff in here. What's that? Right, so nitrogen. 
Station. Hazard frame, we do not need a Hazard frame. Do not need a barrel compensator. Don't need a shotgun choke. Mm, that's annoying. Still, it was almost, almost worth it. Now this guy should have some stuff. What have we got here? We've got Vindicator Frame, Vagabond, Tyranny, Sovereign, Shotgun Chief Extension, Shotgun Barrel, Long Shotgun Barrel. Steel Cat Frame. But that is. Wow! Quality of 81, that's awful. Considering. Um, Reaper frame, Corsair, hmm. Pneumatic Reloader, that's for crossbow again, isn't it? Falcon frame, 87. So these do, these do not appear to be things that can be easily um, easily acquired. Split this and offer him four flashbangs. Get a bit of cash back. Ha! Ah, that's that's really annoying. Um I'm just Just a little annoyed there. As that seems to be the only, um, only really useful, useful area. Okay, well, that's. I do not recall having gone down here before. I think we probably have, but I do not recall having gone down here before. So I want to see what's down here. I want to shoot. Ah, we have been down here. I'm not a drug addict, Mom. It's only motion. Okay, is there anything else? No. There's nothing else down there. Huh. Let's let's try the arena with our new weapon. I think we can we can try the arena here. I feel like we've we've earned the uh, I want the ability to do this now. Let's have a quick chat to Boise. Okay. This is all the stuff that I did not pick up from my conquests. I now understand everything. Okay. All right, so quick saved. 
Ready for the next match. Let's start the match. Gathered here today to witness and enjoy a savage clash between these two challengers. First, let's hear it for Pulverizer! It's former gladiator and mid challenger due to some very, very bad decision making. Still fights with unrelenting and savage brutality. On the other side, we have Sarah Evenstar, a young aspiring challenger. Will the challenger's young blood be spilled today? Let's find out! So, we are here in combat. The question is what do I use first? So we suppressed him, but we didn't really do anything. Is the unfortunate. Thing. Okay. So. I too will be using Sprint. to initiate an adrenaline rush. Yeah. And that's a bit painful. It has to be said. So let's take one of these. Let's move to here. We flashbang him. Excellent use. Is our let's burst shot him then. That didn't work very well. And we'll aim shot. Yeah, we're dead. So how can we change? Well, let's see. So if we flip it over to that. Do an aim shot at 92%. And we take down 102 shield and 72 actual damage. Which ain't great. Hmm. Well, this has not gone quite according to plan. Let's go there. Of course, I forgot. I'll pop in sprint. Yeah, that didn't work very well at all. <sighs> I feel certain we can do this though. So the critical damage doesn't really work unless you have 
and the shield. Okay, so we're now far enough away that it is worthwhile activating sprint and activating a flashbang. Moving there. So we can come here. Really? Okay. Okay. And we can do our own adrenaline rush here. Which sadly doesn't do a great deal for us. So now fifty eight. Kind of off balance, I suppose. And thirteen. Well, let's throw a Molotov cocktail. Really. Anything here? Well, we can take one of these. Don't think we can do it. We can flash bang him. Oh, for fuck's sake. No, we're just we're just absolutely not able to, to, to do anything. Ooh, actually. Adrenaline shot this. Bingo. Um, let's activate sprint. No, let's just do it from here. Let's throw a flashbang. And head round here. Seven shots missed again. The idea was right though, getting that. Yeah, we 
we're gonna die here, but yeah. But the idea was there. It was just the the seventy seven percent aim shot was missed again. Again and again. So the shield is gone. Eighty two percent shot there. Move there, activates. Don't want to do that, I've got it here, haven't I? Got sprint there, let's flashbang him. And let's move just the way around there. Next up, we will. And shot him. And then I want to adrenaline myself and flip over to this. Oh my fucking god! something percent shot missed. Let's really 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 oh, we're dead. <laughs> Amazingly enough he missed. Back up to full. Not enough action points, of course, not enough action points. I can, if I can just hit him once. Oh, come on, how many hit points has he got left? Three, of course. Yay! Oh boy! Wow, well we see more of Sarah even Sarah with this young blood fall like pulverite as a fell today. That was difficult. After the break we'll be watching the Bell Sisters. Right, let's reload. <laughs> Pardon me. And reload you. I'm going to have a chat with the doctor in here. Okay, so let's let's bandage. Uh, no, we'll go out and we'll sort that out. Let's have a look in my loot locker. We've acquired this, another high frequency shield emitter, flashbangs, one of those, a couple more adrenaline things. Okay, well, I'm happy with that. We're going to have a fight. Good job, Sarah Evenstar. Now brace yourself. Have some good news. Some folks up there loved your performance so far. He makes a dramatic pause. You're going to be a prime time challenger. Not a gladiator yet. You've got to defeat Wonder Woman that title, but this is big anyway. And to think I almost threw away that application form you signed. Now I'm going to schedule your first prime time match. You come back later and get ready for some real domination. He looks at you several seconds with a confused look on his face, as if wondering why you aren't leaving. Then he raises his eyebrows. 
in a moment of realization. Oh, I forgot your reward. Why didn't you say something? Hand you 200 Stygian coins. No, no, get some rest and see you later. Okay, well, there we go. We did pretty good, all told, eventually. Now I'm just going to quickly... No, no, no. Um, there we are. Reload my shield. And head to the doctor to get myself healed. A robed figure steps up and talks to you. Sarah Evenstar, I want to congratulate you on your victory. That last match of yours was just perfection. Thank you, I'll try my best. I can see that. My name's Gary. I'm an enthusiast. A bloodthirsty maniac, if you will. <laughs> he smiles. I hope I'm not bothering you too much, but wow, you're making remarkable progress. You've got the eye of the crowd extremely fast. I can tell you that. Tell you that. It's pretty amazing. Pretty rare. Are you by any chance have I put this backed up by any other families? You mean like one of the oligarchs? Bingo, so are you? Nope, I've got nothing to do with any of them. No, then you most definitely should. It will help you a lot with your career, trust me. You seem to know a lot about the arena. I'm just an enthusiast, been one for years. And you are new to the arena and have a great potential. I know a lot about the gladiators you'll be battling, and judging by your skills, you'll battle many more. I simply want to be helpful. All help is welcome. Good, he smiles. I happen to know who your next opponent is, and I can offer a bit of advice. You know, just based on watching him battle other gladiators. What can you tell me about my next opponent? He'll be fighting Bullseye. He's mean, he's fast, and he's damn accurate with his crossbow. One of the most dominating marksmen currently. The most important thing to note here is that his success does not only come from his ability to send a bolt through a fly's wing without killing the thing, but also from the fact that he dips his bolts into various poisons. If you're not careful, your blood will quickly be filled with lethal concoctions. Make sure you're ready for it. On the other hand, he's lightly armoured. Hit him fast and hit him hard, and he'll be no match for you. Good luck. When did you come become such an enthusiast. I've been in a passion of mine for years. I enjoy the fighting, the brutal deaths, the skill involved, the theatrics, everything. I rarely miss a match and I've sunk enough Chirons into it to restore South Underrail's entire railroad. He laughs. It's pipes and barrels to me. The arena is pipes and barrels to me. I never get tired of it. See you later. Bye. Well, that was nice of him. But I feel a big sense of both relief and accomplishment there. And 200 coins is not anything to be sniffed at. Hi, Heidi. Let's give some stitching coins. Okay. So we're done there. And I shall say goodbye. Thank you ever so much for watching. Um, by the time we get back, I will have placed the fourth shield emitter up in the uh, up in the locker at the back up here, and uh, I will see you next time. Thank you ever so much. Goodbye.